Hello all, it's Mel again and I am here today with a really brief introductory guide to Microsoft Teams. So a lot of you have been asking about Microsoft Teams, some of you may already be trialling Microsoft Teams and this is just a really basic overview of what it does and how it looks. Um, First things first, Microsoft Teams we do have within the college, so if you're watching this and you're not from South Thames Colleges Group, then obviously you need to find out whether your own institution has Microsoft Teams. But for my colleagues at STCG, we have Microsoft Teams and we are beginning to pilot Teams within the group. Now to have a team set up, you have to directly re request it from Mark Khan. That's um, how it's working at the moment. Mark has also made some much more in-depth um, videos, but they're a little bit more involved and talk about the college systems, which is why um, they're not being posted on Instagram and YouTube. But what I'm gonna do today is just give you an idea of how it looks, what it does, and show you where there are some online guides so that if you decide you do want to mark to set you up a team then you've got a brief idea of what to do. So this is my current team screen and I'm on a few different teams. First I'm going to show you where it is. So if you are on STCG online and Office 365 it looks like this, hopefully this is something you're very familiar with. If you click on this little um, waffle in the corner it pops up with all the different apps that we have and you want to click on Teams. And that takes you to Microsoft Teams and the screen that you just saw that I was already on. Your other options are um, you can go into um, Microsoft Office like this. So I have Office 365 at home and it, uh, and it opens up like this. So some of you, if you log in remotely from um, the old South Thames website or the old Merton website and you log into Office 365, again you will see it look like this and you just need to click on Teams and that takes you to the same page. Teams you can also um, download onto your desktop if you want to and have it as an app and you can download it onto your devices as an app. So I personally have it on my iPad and my iPhone as an app um, because this is the main way of communication that me and the TLA team are talking to each other. So I'm going to go into these are my different um, teams that I am in. So I'm in the quality team and um, TLC team. This is a classroom which um, Andrew and Mark have created and I'll um, talk to you about that later and that's um, a team that we created for a bid that we were writing. So I'm going to go into the TLC team and just sort of show you how it looks. So there's different aspects within here. This is our conversation feed and you can start a new conversation here. So it's very much about sort of chatting and um, I can at people and um, so if I want to specifically speak to say Jamie or Andrew or Mark, um, I can at them and we just have conversations. You can also attach files here. So if I wanted to share a file um, with them for them to give me feedback on, they can do that. If if you wanted to share a file with, with learners, <coughs> um, you can absolutely do that as well. So there's lots of different ways that you can use the chat. It's really nice, it's very easy to use. You can like people's posts so you can see who's seen it. Um, you can also, um, here's a list of all the files that have been attached before. So this is all the files that we've attached over the, the period of time. So if for example, you had attached a document and the learners haven't been on online in a while in the chats, they just need to go into the files and it appears in a list like that. Um, also, when you're in meetings, which I'm going to show you how to do a video meeting in a minute, you can um, take meeting notes, which I really like. So, for example, we had a meeting the other week and um, we took some notes. And these are the notes that we, we made in the meeting. So, really, really useful. It's so simple to use. Um, and then you can make calls. You can either go in here when you're in your post and you can literally start a video call from there like that and just meet now. Um, you can set a subject, hi, that's me. Um, so, and then you click meet now and you can invite different people into the meeting. 
so I can then invite someone into the meeting. So this is how I would invite the different staff. If I want to close my video or turn my um, uh, microphone off, I can do. Um, you can also show the conversation, so you can have a chat within the meeting. So um, you can have a chat window open within the meeting. Um, and I can also share my screen. So again, it's similar to what you might have done on Zoom and things like that. I can share um, different documents or I can share my desktop. So if you had a PowerPoint here ready to go, you can um, share your PowerPoint. So there's a, a really old PowerPoint that I made um, about planning <laughs> for 1920. Oh, how we did not plan and know what was coming. Um, so that was a briefing that I created, but I can I can present that and I, you can see there's a window down there. So there's lots of options, it's really simple to use and I'm just going to end that call now. There are other ways to make calls as well, so you can um, create new groups, you can call people um, individually, so for example I could call um, Sue because she's online right now. Um, and there's just so many options that you can do. These are other documents that, that have been uploaded on STCG Online. So I'm going to go back to the Teams and um, I'm going to just show you how the classrooms look a little bit different. So this is Andrew and Mark's classroom that they set up and obviously Mark has created so many guides and so many videos and please do look at everything that Mark's created because he is absolutely the go-to man when it comes to teams but what they've done is they've created this classroom and it's a little bit different because you also have a class notebook where you can take notes and then you have assignments and grades so if you've used Google Classroom possibly quite similar to that and you can see that Mark has added some really useful tools um, to this example classroom. So you can attach assignments, you can see who's handed them in, and you can um, do grading. So it's really simple, really easy to use. This is now the go-to tool for um, our meetings. So we aren't using Zoom, we aren't using Skype, we are using Microsoft Teams because it's so, so simple. It's how we're chatting back and forth without sending emails because it means we don't have to actually log into our emails and we can just chat on Teams. Um, and we are, we are doing our videos through Teams as well because we're just finding it um, the quality and it's so easy to use. Um, we are going to show you an example of us all in a meeting. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you some really free, useful um, guidance that there is from Microsoft. So I literally googled Microsoft Teams and they have all this information about Microsoft Teams here. And then if you've watched my other videos or you've been to the CPD area of STCG Online, you will see I referred to the Office Training Centre, which is um, so useful for any of these, if you struggle with any of these, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, OneDrive, the tools are so incredibly useful. And if you go to Microsoft Teams, it's then um, got these guides and these little videos that talk you through exactly how to um, customise your team. It's got little videos and it shows you how to do it. But as I say, Mark's um, created some guides. They are all on STCG Online. And if you do want to set up a team, um, contact Mark. Let him know if it's a class that you want and he needs the name of the class and the... Um, course code or if it's a team you want to create for a course team or a subject team. Um, some of you are already using it and it would be really useful for us, for teachers that are using it to get their feedback or even if you'd be willing to share us some little videos of you using it live with your learners, that would be great. But I hope you found this useful. Um, do give it a go, do um, pop on and have a look at the um, classroom that Andrew and Mark have created so you can see how it looks and have a play with it. And again, this is very much about you 
deciding what works best for you and what works best for your learners but we have found that Teams is incredibly useful and really simple and quick to use. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, do let us know if you want more guides or if there's any um, thing that you want us to look at, anything you want us to share or investigate, do just pop us an email. Okay, thank you.